This was the drama that unfolded at a probe into the misuse of 81 billion naira at the Niger Delta Development Commission a couple of weeks ago at the House of Representatives. Unfortunately, not much has been done since then to curtail alleged fraudulent activities at the Commission going by what these stakeholders are saying. Many other fraudulent payments were made in the month of August under review, including <clears throat> additional payment of 123 million naira to Julius Dinga on the 18th of August, bringing the total payment on this singular contract scam to 624 million naira without tax. Now, when we expose this contract scam that over 700 million naira was awarded as consultancy for publicity on awareness on COVID 19 to an engineering company that has nothing to do with the media world. They said we were lying, but payment, of course, show, shows that these guys meant business in the looting of the place. While they applaud the efforts of some agencies, the stakeholders believe there is an urgent need to do more. If I say there are no reactions, we'll be lying. There are reactions, but they are not enough. And they are not, at least, they are not commensurate to the evidence at hand. And coming from a government that professes to be fighting corruption, you want to see swift reactions, you want to see swift action, especially when the work has been done. But I must confess that some agencies are working. I just told you here that I'm aware that some agencies have not just detained some contractors or some officials of the commission. Some of them have made reform to the government coffer. However, however, we need to do more because the more we leave these people there, the more they loot. Imagine. After extensive research into the Commission's activities, the consensus at this gathering is that a total purge of the Niger Delta Development Commission will be needed to save Nigeria from those that have been described as economic saboteurs. Aon Dina Inga, Silverbird News 24.